Chapter 10 The Wilderness The children of Israel are finally free, but their troubles are far from over. After the Israelites fled Egypt, the Pharaoh, in a furious rage, gathered his army and set out to annihilate the Israelites. The Israelites were doing great until they came to a dead end. The Sea of Reeds. Now what were they supposed to do? All their excitement of being free had turned to terror. The Egyptians, led by Pharaoh, were fast approaching. The Israelites turned to Moses, pleading with him to come up with an answer. God was about to show his people how much he loves them and wants them to survive. God instructed Moses to stand before the sea and raise his arms high and wide. The sea parted. The children of Israel quickly moved past the walls of water, making a beeline for the other side. They made it safely to the other side, just as the roaring Egyptians arrived. The Egyptians chased after the Hebrews, and once they were in the middle of the parted sea, God caused the walls of water to collapse on top of them, causing all of them to drown. The Hebrews were saved. They celebrated the great power of their God. The relationship between the children of Israel and their God was consecrated. All the children of Israel joyously sang this song. Praise be the name of God. Blessed be the name of God for now and forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting. God's name is praised high above all nations is God. Above the heavens is his glory. Who is like the Lord our God. Who is enthroned on high yet looks upon heaven and earth. Praise be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be his name forever and ever. The relationship between God and his people, Israel, deepened through every experience in the wilderness. In spite of the love and affection God showed his people, the children of Israel still turned their backs on God. Further, they rebelled against Moses time and time again due to lack of water, food, harsh conditions of the desert. The Israelites cried out to Moses, Aren't there enough graves in Egypt? Why did you bring us here to die in the desert? Seven weeks into their journey, an event was about to take place that would change God's people forever.